Hey guys, Joyce and Anthony aka JJ. Last summer, I took Geku's Deep Paint Club 5-week course, which is a mixture of 2D and 3D in Blender. These are some of the projects that we worked on on the first two weeks. In the class, we were provided a Deep Paint add-on, and now he has released it to everybody. I want to go over useful features. Even though it's been a year, I'm still playing around with it. This is a quick tree house that I made and I have the add-on, but I need to install it. So after you purchase it, you go to edit preferences and then click the drop down install from disk and I've saved it to my desktop. Make sure you keep it in the zip file that it comes in. And then once I'm, I'm going to click deep but it's legacy deep paint pro so if you click the drop down the first feature is you can adjust the shortcuts right now i'm going to keep it on default but you can go in and change it maybe instead of the keypad you click on the mouse and you can adjust it to whatever you like i'm gonna click save settings and get out of the preferences i want there to be leaves on my tree so i'm going to go to add GP, which is grease pencil, and I'm going to draw a leaf. And since I'm in draw mode, these are my default brushes. I want to add the brushes that come with the add on. So I'm going to the tool tab and then clicking the drop down and clicking install custom brush pack. And you should see at the bottom, 23 brushes were just installed. So I'm going to go back to the brushes. And these are the brushes that you get with the add-on. And I'm going to select the fill, yeah, I'm going to select the fill brush. And I'm just going to draw one leaf. Now that that's done, I'm going to go from solid view to rendered view. I'm going to go from draw mode to object mode to do feature number three. It's that shortcut E and I'm going to click GP to fill mesh. My 2D leaf just became 3D, so I'm going to press shortcut N, and this brings up the deep paint add-on, and I'm clicking DPM, which means deep paint material. I don't want my leaf to be white, so I'm going to select the color box, and I'm going to make it like a grayish color. Yeah, I'm going to click set vertex color. I don't want my leaf to be just one color. I am going to go to vertex paint and add some more colors to it. I'm going to keep that leaf right there, but further along, we are going to make that one leaf leaves on the tree. I'm going to go back to object mode. What we just did to the leaf, I'm going to repeat that process with the ground and the tree house. This is the color of my tree house. I'm probably going to change it later. When you are in draw mode and you click shortcut S, the grease pencil pop-up window will appear and this has the drawing planes, the brush, you can pretty much change the layers. There's so many things you can adjust with this shortcut. For the trees, I'm going to do something a little different and I'm going to be texture painting and experimenting with the brushes that you get with the add-on. I'm going to make sure my trees are selected, then click texture paint, and then add texture and my base color. I'm gonna do like a brownish color. I'm going to go from layout and go to the shading. And if for the left, that was me practicing earlier. And when I'm paint, you can't see anything. And after playing around, I noticed that I had to change the node from multiply to mix. And once I did that, I was able to see my texture paint. And if you see on the right, the top right, there are 10 different texture brushes, but I'm going to use the pastel brush for the trees. I'm going to go from texture painting to object mode and I'm going to add another grease pencil. Remember that one leaf that we drew? I'm now going to make that leaves hanging on the tree. I'm going to just draw around the tree. 
I have surface selected as my stroke placement. So I'm gonna make sure I'm drawing the line on both of the trees. Now that that's done, I'm going to go from draw mode to object mode and again clicking the shortcut E and this time I'm gonna click GP to curve because I want this to be a curve and I'm going to go over the next feature which is vine gen. I like vine gen when I want to do something curved so I'm going to click object in my one leaf and now that just created a bunch of leaves along the curve which gives this leaves on the tree effect. The leaves are too small I want them to be bigger so you can always go in and adjust the settings. I'm going to increase the radius. I also increase the scale min. The more I look at my tree house the more I want it to match my tree and my leaves. I was trying to make it look like the reference image on the left, but it just didn't look very good. I think these colors look much better for the tree house. The last feature I want to go over is the tree gin. You can use this when you want to scatter plants and trees. Let me show you my plant that I drew. Making sure the ground plane that I want the plants to come out of is selected and then I'm going to click tree gin. Let me pull that up a little bit and I'm going to click collection because you can't see the grass. I also drew little blades of grass but there you go and I'm going to click the plants collection. Okay it's kind of to the side so I'm going to go down to offset and move it more to the right. I also played around with random offset. Well, this is my tree house for now. Hopefully you've learned more about the deep paint add-on. There's still so much to play around with, but that's it for now. This is Joyce and Anthony, AKA JJ. Until next time.